Y'all already know what it is. Come in, grab yourself a seat. You know what you you know what we doing today, man. Hey, look, man. Happy Monday morning to everybody. I know, I know that uh, you know, Monday morning is one of those days where we don't really we're not gonna get into a whole lot. You're trying to get your week started, you're trying to get acclimated to work. You're probably just pulling up to work. Well, if you're just pulling up to work, I hope you have an awesome day. I hope that you you get transitioned properly into the week. And I really hope that that today's the best day that you had in a long time, man. That's just how we feel. Don't I sound like some type of radio host, man? Like on the quiet storm. This is Jay Easy on the quiet storm. Anyway, man, look. A lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about it in. So let's get right into it. Now, if you did not watch my video from last night, please go back and watch that. I'm talking about the whole wager culture. We're talking about Zuli. I'm mean, not Zuli. We're talking about uh, Ticino and his world tour. We're going to talk about that a little bit this morning. Uh, Ticino versus Hank and, and all of that. Ticino versus T-Jack. All, all those things, man. And we're talking about why people are hating on my boy Chico Dusty. I call him Chico Dusty. If, if that's an inside joke, if you know what Chico Dusty is from, man, put it down in the comments. But like I said, Tarsino finished his world tour last night. We're going to revisit some of that stuff, man. I'm not going to lie, man. This lit the community up. I'm not even going to lie to you. The community was on life support, like I said, a few weeks ago. And uh, this right here put a lot of people back into the community. Now, as far as playing the game, the community is fine. But we're talking about as far as YouTube videos, content, and things like that. The community is largely going downhill as far as views and all of those things. It's one of those things where where uh, Swante was like, you know, back back in the day, he's like, dang, man, you get more views on NBA 2K17 videos than you are on 18 videos or what have you. Now, all, all 19 people were getting mad views, so it was, it was cool during that. But I think that that tells us something about the community. It's like the cheesier the game is and the more unrealistic the game is, the more popular the game is on YouTube. I feel like as far as the player base goes and, and as far as the amount of people playing the game, the parks are really no indication because you can't really tell. But you can get a rec game instantly. You can get a team pro-am game instantly. You can get three-on-three -three pro-am games instantly. I think I think in that regard, the community is is as healthy as it's ever been. But we don't care about none of that stuff. We play park. We play we play rec. You know, stuff like that. Nobody ever watched rec on YouTube anyway. But if you play park and rec and stuff, I mean, if you play rec and you play stuff like that, you don't have any problem. Now, we had an event yesterday, the, uh, you know, the Pirate Booty uh, event. We played some of that, me and my man, Grind Hard and Clutch. Um, you know, we had a good time. And, uh, you know, it was a good thing. But like I said, nothing seems to have reinvigorated the community like the Ticino thing. Hey, like the video if you agree. If you agree that Ticino and his world tour, being on his world tour early, reinvigorated the community. Hey, let, let me know if you believe that. Hey, we had so many people chiming in, man. We had, had my boy HL77 Noah. Hey, he says, Chico went from being the most hated, the most hated to the most loved in one series, the 2K community. We are bipolar as hell, man. Hey, hey, like the video if you agree with ATL77 Noah. Hey, say, what a way to finish finish it off. GG's, let's go. Ticino and Chico uh, providing everyone, I mean, proving everyone wrong in the end. Hey, you got to do your thing, man. Look, it's always going to take some time to get the chemistry going. And like I said, Chico was learning on the fly, man. So that's just one of those things. Hank versus Ticino uh, wager probably pulling about 30 to 40,000 viewers if you combine all the streams. That, uh, that was showing it. It was obvious to the world of 2K, the content creators and daily players are what's keeping this game alive. Hey, iPod King Carter said it best, man. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. But my thing is, why you have to pay for it? Why can't we just play each other and set up tournaments and set up, you know, YouTube head-to-head -head type deals anyway? I think... My thing is, I think it's because people feel like they're going to get exposed. Bro, you're going to lose some games. You're going to lose some games when you play against people, okay? When you play against bombs in the park all day, you're not going to lose. You're going to look like a god. You're going to look like this and that. When you play against some people that can actually play this game, then you can, you're going to lose some games. It is what it is. Like we say all the time, there's some people that can play this game that's not us. 
outside of us. And I'm not talking about YouTubers. I'm just talking about people that are content creators and all of that. It's when you play to stiff competition all the time, you're going to lose some games. It just is what it is. And I think that a lot of YouTubers are afraid to take a loss. They want to sit there and, and look like they can just spam the moves, same moves all over and over all the time. You know, not, you know what I'm saying? Just, just make people look stupid and put up highlight videos and they're not really putting up what they really are. I, I take my hat off to Tassino because he actually showed, look, this is this is what I this is what I am, this is who I am, and this is how I stack up against the rest of the world. I'm playing against the best, some of the best players in the world, some of the cheesiest players in the world, some of the most methodical players in the world, some of the most exploitive players in the world. I'm playing against them and I'm gonna see how I stack up with my guy Chico Dusty. And uh hey and 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 like I said, you can't do nothing but respect them for that because a lot of people are not gonna do that. A lot of people are not gonna expose themselves. A lot of people are gonna pay people to play him. You see what I'm saying? Then nah, I'm not gonna play him. I can't let the stigma that I'm good be falling off. No, and, and then half of the people that, that that do stuff like that, nobody thinks you're good anyway. Like that would be like me paying somebody paying Zuli to play him. Nobody think I'm good anyway. So why wouldn't I just play him if I had money to throw away like that? First of all, I'd never throw no money away like that. Even if I had it to, to gamble. That's that to me, to me, it's dumb. Regardless of if you got it or not. So you know what I'm saying? It's like buying a ten thousand dollar clock that does the same thing as a two dollar watch. You don't never see Steve Jobs and guys like that doing stuff like that. The richest people in the world, they don't do stuff like that. Only people that really don't got money. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna throw it away like that. Uh, but then again, Floyd throw money away. I take that all back because well, Floyd ain't got they kind of money, though. So it is what it is. It's, it's one of those things. Like, you got the semi-rich and stuff like that. They throw money away like that. Charles Barkley, Floyd, uh, the guy that Michael Jordan was gambling with and all this stuff. You know, tons of people that, that are, that are mid-tier rich. But the supreme rich, Bill Gates, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, what's, what's his name? Uh, and like I said, Steve Jobs, guys like that. Boy, they ain't throwing no money away like that. Them boys won't even buy no Gucci slippers. You know they got that money. Them boys wearing jeans and, and a t-shirt like this to work every day. That's what they doing, my guy. So, you know, the people that the people that, that are really rich and really understand money, they're not going to throw no money away like that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. This was for the community. This was was something to reinvigorate the community. I would just like to see us do it for free. But like I said, now that this president has been set, I don't think anybody's gonna ever do it for free again. I don't think we're ever gonna have tournaments for free um, anymore. I think like with Solo and Nadi did it in, in 16, like that was it. And then I think we did one in 17. Uh, I think King, I mean, uh, No Limit Sean might have done one and then that was all. Nobody ever did one again. Uh, and then now this is the resurgence of it, but I think you're gonna have to, I think you're gonna have to pay to play. I think this how it's gonna be. The precedent has been set, and and we just gotta uh, we just gotta roll with it. So I guess I'll never be too into it. Now my guy Hank the Tank, your boy Hank the Tank, he said, "Hey, look, I know I lost it. I know I lost, but this was dirty, and I'm inclined to agree with him, bro. Why does Twitter always do this? Look at that. Uh, 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 woo, woo, whoop de woo. Ooh, the spin back trays up, splash down." Pipe in the back and the place on reserve, activists. Hey, look, man. Hey, that was kind of that was kind of dirty. Speaking of which, Stazo got a video out with him and G-Man getting busy out there. Y'all need to go check that out, man. Stazo the God is back. Uh, that was a nice segue into that. Stazo the God is back. Um, he was going up against a guy, and his name was uh, Iso Don't Work or something like that. Look, 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 look at that nice segue. He was going up a guy named Iso Don't Work. And like I said, hey, bro, Stizo has been in the lab doing doing some different dribble moves, working on some different stuff, doing some different stuff. And uh, pretty much, man, he's, he's got a video with him and G-Man out. And if you haven't seen it, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit of, I'm going to show you a little snippet right here. Uh, he's going against the guy, like he said, the guy's name is Iso Don't Work. But it is what it is. Stizo is out here getting busy, giving giving up buckets, uh, doing his thing. And like I like like I said, the the dribble style, little stop and go. He is doing he's doing some moves that that a lot of people aren't doing or aren't. Hey, can't can't, can't blow it up. Can't be a big because it might it might say it's copyright. Okay, but like this last move right here though, I say this last move right here though. Ooh, come on, get over here. Uh uh, nope. Come back. Let him reset. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come here. Woo! Get, 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 get over here! Hey. 
Hey, he doing his thing. Like I said, I did see a couple of behind the backs. See, what he's doing in his videos, he's not using the escape behind the back to be the end all be all. He's using it to chain the moves together. So I can see that that is a little bit different dribbling style or whatever, man. But anyway, go check the video out. Two best ISO guards going crazy. Um, G-Man and Steezo, and they were going up against a guy. Dude, name ISO don't work. I mean, they was clowning him. But make sure you go check that out, man. Like I said, maybe something like that. Do you think something like this dribbling, if people figure out the dribbling and unlock the, unlock the secrets and do stuff like that, do you think that's going to bring the game back? Do you think the game is really dead? Or do you think that the game is just... Like, people just don't want to accept that this is the new way that you have to play this game and, and the cheese is largely gone. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Anyway, next up, we got NBA 2K Labs has a video... And it's uh it's called our ten shooting tips, uh to get to get more greens and and more or less it's it's just ten ten quick tips on on how to become a better shooter. That's really what it is, man. A lot of these things you're gonna find on my channel. A lot of the things you're gonna find in everybody's channel and everybody else's channel in the community. But it's ten things to uh to become a better shooter, man. Like it really is what it is. Um and you know they're telling you go to their site. Pick one of their jump shots. Uh, you know, look at look at all the tiers. They got they got everything in, in different tiers. They got all the badges in different tiers. Go there, learn this information. Uh, figure out what your best jump shot is. You know, just different stuff like that. So so go over there, check that video out. That, that video's link will be down in the description. You can check that out, and hopefully it works out for you. Hey, real quick, sports short, man. Hey, look. The Indianapolis Pacers over the Bulls last night, 108 to 95. Rack Levine, 21 points, six rebounds, two assists. Uh, TJ, what's that? TJ Warren, I guess it is. 26 points, five rebounds, three assists. Uh, the Sacramento Kings over the Knicks, 113 to 92. De'Aaron Fox is having himself a heck of a season, man. Probably the most improved player of the year, even though he's been hooping like this forever. I just want to see him win some type of award, man. Hey, we got uh, Morris with 28 points, six rebounds, two assists, and a losing level. But De'Aaron Fox, 24 points, two rebounds, six assists. The Rockets lose yet again to the five and one Heat. James Harden, 29 points four rebounds three assists and uh robinson 23 points six rebounds one assist it's surprising to not see jimmy butler at the, at the, at the as the leading scorer there but hey it is what it is uh that's crazy though that the rockets like i said every game they're giving up over 100 points that d'antoni stuff man let them score in there we gonna outscore them you know that that really don't work lakers over the spurs yes 103 to uh 96 uh, Anthony Davis, 25 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, Murray, 18 points, 11 rebounds, 8 and 4 assists. Gotta love that. Cavaliers, uh, Cavaliers lose whew, badly, get blasted by the Mavericks, uh, 131 to 111. Luka Donitz with 29 points, 14 rebounds, and 15 assists. That, that dude is a walking double-double right now. Kevin Love, he still deserves better. Uh, 29 points, eight rebounds, two assists. Y'all think y'all think that, that uh, GM LeBron could finagle some type, of, uh, some type of trade to get him to the Lakers or something like that? I don't know. But uh, hey, Dwight Howard hooping too. We gonna talk about that uh, uh, real quick. Hey, but the Lakers, I mean the Jazz and the Clippers, the Clips over the Jazz, man, 105 to 95. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, 36 points, four rebounds and six assists. Kawhi Leonard, show enough, still hooping, 30 points, six rebounds and, uh, and three assists. Let's check out Dwight Howard, man. Dwight Howard has been playing somewhat like a man possessed. I think he's playing well, but Look at this, 14 points, 13 rebounds, and probably a couple of blocks. Yeah, two blocks. He's been playing awesome. But the thing is, Dwight Howard wanted to get paid 20, 20 million to play like this. Bro, nobody gonna pay you. No, everybody know Dwight Howard can still play. You're just not gonna get 20 million, 30 million on max contract to go. And he went seven for seven, but you're not gonna get that for, for 14, 15 rebounds and 15 points, or, you know, 20 rebounds and, and whatever. Maybe with 20 rebounds and 15 points, they would. But, you know, y'all let me know. Do y'all think that was Dwight Howard's problem? He wanted to get too much money for, um, for too little, uh, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to be a support player, but get a max contract is pretty much what I felt like. I, I think he's a great player, and I think he's a great addition to anybody's team, but you know what I mean. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And then the L of the day, ladies and gentlemen, goes to my boy Duke Dennis. Y'all look at this right here, man. I'm about to let y'all see. I'm about to let y'all see see this. Okay, so look, let me set the, let me set the mood for this. Imagine you a 2K streamer, and all you're trying to do is have some fun in Rick. That's all. Check it out, what they did to your boy Duke.
Okay. And it decided that it doesn't want to load. I hate Twitter videos when you go to when you go to, to big mode. All right. Can we get this again? Why? Maybe the L of the day goes to me. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all don't understand the plight of being a YouTuber and all of this stuff, man. When people see y'all get to go and wreck, play the game. Nobody knows your name. Nobody knows who you are and all of that. You don't y'all don't get this stuff. Look at this. Look how he came to me. They let them go. Y'all might not know exactly what's going on here. Duke thinks that he's playing the game. And, and doing and being a good teammate spacing the floor look at this a good teammate spacing the floor and uh and trying to you know trying to trying to play the game the right way this is what he should be doing look at this you've got a center bringing the ball up you got uh 50 over here 50 over here going down you got a dude going to the rim you got another dude that was already down court already and uh and he's being unguarded. Instead of going to these people, yeah, he's me. look at that, look at that. Hold on, I'm trying to get, I hate Twitter videos, bro. I hate when they do this. But anyway, look, so they let them just do all that stuff inside and score. The biggest problem, the, the oh my God, media cannot be played. The thing is this, this happened to me and man man all the time. They straight double me when I, when they go to wreck and they see me, they double me, they double man man, they let Harlem be wide open. Look at this right here. This is what we. This is what we're talking about. This is if, it, if if he was making a good basketball play, nobody would have a problem with it. This is just stupid. This guy right here is the biggest threat, right? Because, okay, first of all, in real basketball, the guy with the ball is the biggest threat. But in two K, the guy with, that's, that's the biggest threat is the guy that is down court in the corner, wide open. This is the biggest threat. This guy should have ran to him. Anything else that happened, or tried to stop the ball, anything else that happened would have just been cool. I would have ran to this guy. Number six better get to the ball handler because he's a center, and then we'll fix everything else from there. Dude said, forget that. I'm running straight to Duke. To me. Straight to him. And then just, just straight give up the bucket inside. Like I said, a lot of people would try to try to pick that apart and be like, well, you're supposed to stop the three. I mean, that guy's more dangerous. But now nah, the dude ran to the corner, and... uh. The dude ran to the corner, and and he's open. And like I said, they probably been guarding Duke so tight. It says, well, he got 20 points and 22% from three. How is that a good play right there? Like, how how is that how is that the right play to make in that situation? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got somebody that's, that, that, that y'all done held him down all game. They probably done doubled and tripled him all game to try to keep the man from having any type of fun and all this stuff, man. It is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think. When y'all see a YouTuber on, on thing or wreck, what are y'all thinking? He ain't gonna get no buckets on me. I'm gonna prove I can lock him down. He ain't gonna... Bro, like, just play the game. We wanna have fun, too. It's not cool that we can't have no fun playing the game. And if I can't have no fun playing the game and I don't even got no subs and nobody thinks I'm good in the whole community and none of that, I can only imagine what Duke goes through. Y'all think he y'all 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 think he's one of the top top players in the community. He got almost a million subs. He had like uh 700, 800,000 subs and all that. Bro, he can't hide nowhere. He can't go play the game and just have fun and just and just be chilling like like we want to get some stuff off our minds and go play the game and have fun too, bro. Ain't nobody trying to deal with this all the time. Look at this. Look at this. Bro, nobody trying to deal with this all the time. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, this. Look at what ended up happening. One, two. It's three people. Bro, three people pretty much ran to him. Dude wide open in the corner. I'm going to run the dude. Look at that. Two people on dude. That's how they do. That's how they do. That's how. And then they ran back to make sure that they didn't pass it to him. Look at that. Bro, that's crazy, man. I don't. I don't get that. Ain't none of us that good, bro. Y'all don't gotta do stuff like that. Leave us alone. Let us just play the game and have fun. We wanna have fun like y'all do too. It is what it is, man. But nobody wants this screenshot. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna catch y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chap. God speed. But let me know if y'all see a YouTuber something there. What, what is your thought process? Like the video too, man. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, are y'all just thinking he's not about to drop me off and get no screenshot? YouTubers don't generally do screenshots on people that we don't know. That's y'all side that does the screenshot. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like the video, and I'm gone. Let's get 500 likes. 
I'm out. Peace.